Hello everyone, and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Animal Kingdom to discover Pandora, the world of Avatar, and experience Flight of Passage, coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Disney's Animal Kingdom in front of the Tree of Life. There's a 50th anniversary statue of Bambi and Thumper. We're now looking at the Tree of Life facing north. We're gonna turn and head southwest towards Pandora, the world of Avatar. Follow me. In the Valley of Moara, discover a beautiful land that exists beyond belief and celebrates the magic in nature, where you can hike amongst floating mountains and experience glowing bioluminescence on your expedition for adventurers of all ages. Avatar, flight of passage. On this thrilling Pandora excursion, discover a world like no other where you can fly and soar on the back of a mountain banshee as you take flight on a breathing ride high above this vast moon of Pandora. Now let's head down this pathway here, just around the corner. Pandora, just over to the left-hand side. Welcome to Valley of Moara, Pandora. While you're here, don't forget to experience the flora and fauna. Let's follow this gentle stream down to the main entrance of the attraction. I'm still marveling at the floating mountains of Pandora. Up ahead is Pongu Pongu and Wind Traders, but we'll come back to that in a moment. We're heading over to our left hand side to go to the entrance. We've arrived. Lightning Lane is coming soon, but the standby entrance, that's for us today. Let's join the standby line. Now we hike up the mountainside. Here's where the queue meets the interior cave. Just follow around the ring and fill the room. That's right. 
Please spill all the way in and stand on your assigned number. Okay, Dr. Stevens, they're ready. Can everyone see me? Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. All right, everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. Start scan. <sighs> You've all got them. <laughs> but don't worry. Uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stand still over your number. You're not going to feel a thing. You're doing great. Almost done here. They're all clear. Great. Now let's go over how all this works. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Na'vi. They're created by blending human DNA and Navi DNA. Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. Over a generation ago, this enormous company called the RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Navi. Just like on Earth, it can take decades for ecosystems to recover. One way to understand what's going on with an ecosystem is to study what are called keystone species. These are animals like tigers, jaguars, seals. The banshee is one of these important animals. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars can. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. It was Dr. Ogden who restarted the Avatar program. It's because of her that you're able to go through this rite of passage today. Pandora is a breathtaking natural world. I cannot wait for you guys to see it for yourselves. So, let's get ready for our next... Huh? Hmm. I'll be right back. Put the standby system on, quickly. Standby. We are looking into delays with the genetic matching system. Okay, to get you flying on a banshee, we need to find each of you an avatar. Um, let's uh, prep the genetic sampling. I'm on it. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> all right, you've all been matched with avatars. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And, uh, and I'll see you in there. Before we send you to the link chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a Banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. The way you'll be able to fly is by linking to an avatar that's already on the back of the Necron. Let's see how this works. We establish a link using powerful psionic amplification equipment. A human driver is connected to an avatar, which could be physically hundreds of kilometers away. 
When you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. Please go to the number that matches the number you're standing on now. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags, cameras, and other items, including cell phones. It's important to push them all the way into the bin. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold onto the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold onto the hand grips at all times. After you're seated, back and leg restraints will be firmly engaged. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, always remain seated and supervise your children. Once the link takes place, you'll be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ekron. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Steve Ako, rise to the challenge. Good luck. All right. You ready? Yes. Let's get you into the link chamber. Attention drivers, stow your gear on the back wall and then get onto the link chamber the way we showed you in the video. Then put on your flight visors. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, remain seated, lean forward, holding onto the hand grips, and supervise your children.
welcome back. Please step off the link chair, gather your belongings, and exit the link chamber. Let's follow the exit, down the side of the mountain, down to the gift shop. Let's head inside Wind Traders and see what they have to offer. Here's a quick look at the interior of Wind Traders, where you could purchase Navi collectible figurines and various other Pandora inspired merchandise. Now let's go out the exit. Located just next door to Wind Traders is Pongu Pongu. Now let's take a look at the menu items. Pongu Pongu offers lunch and dinner snacks like a colossal pretzel a Pongu Lumpia, and beverages like Coca-Cola bottled beverages, Dasani bottled water, Night Blossom, a non-alcoholic specialty beverage, and also alcoholic beverages like a Mawara High Country Ale, Hawks Grog Ale, Rum Blossom, and a Mawara Margarita. It's time now to head back to the Tree of Life. Let's go! We're back, near the Tree of Life again. Prepare for time travel through time and space. Here we are, back near the Tree of Life again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey has come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Flight of Passage just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.